in this project, we've downloaded a piece of artwork for these bells and we have placed them onto a sheet where we've inverted the image. So I've got four up of these and I've inverted them and so now I'm ready to print this inverted image. Printing this to a regular CMYK laser printer, in this case the Oki 610, and there's nothing really special in terms of the general print settings. The idea is, is we're going to print this as a mask. So we want to feed this through the multi-purpose tray and we can check and make sure that we're printing with good heavy color. And the main, uh, the main thing that we want to set is the media type. So we need to pick labels 2, labels 2 as our media type. Everything else is okay, and we just hit the print button. So now we're printing this to the standard 610. We have our VersaSheen media loaded, and it's ready for us to print. So we just click the online button, and now we're ready for it to feed in and print out. And it comes out as an inverted black on white, which is what we're looking for. And we've got good heavy coverage, which is uh, what we're going to use as our mask. Okay, so for this project, here's what we have. We have a mirror. Hi, y'all. <laughs> so this is our mirror. Um, we have our print design. This is printed using the Versa Sheen on the 610. And then it's cut out. As you can see, it's a reverse image of the design. We have our armor X which is what we will be using to etch the glass once we've applied the design. Right. And we have a brush to apply the etching acid with. And we have the uh, silicone pad that we're going to be pressing with. So, let's get started. So our heat press is set to 365 for two minutes. And so my and I, I think I would have probably done a little work to get a better sense of how to center this in the actual design process. All right. Working with glass, I like to cover things with parchment just just in case something happens. So we will put our pressing pad down and press it high pressure two minutes. All right, two minutes. up with All right. so we just want to 
let this uh, let this cool off a little bit so we can handle it. Cool off. Rub it a little bit just to pull a little of that temperature out of it. Let it cool off. We want to let it cool down to where we can at least touch it. Still pretty hot. Okay, so this is what we wanted, and um, I am pretty certain if there are any marks that this this works. So now we are ready for the armor etch and so you brush it on for a few minutes. Let that sit for a few moments. So after letting that sit for a few minutes, then we rinse it off.
after rinsing it off, we can use a steel wool pad and we can remove the, the toner. And we can also use um, acetone, but generally speaking, the steel wool pad does just fine. already see the etched part of the design. our result. Pitched glass. <laughs>